Right, so this is part two of our simple analysis of a gas turbine engine. Uh, in part one, uh, we had established the ideal temperatures and pressures at the output of the compressor and turbine. And now we're just going to see how they are modified when we take into account the efficiencies of the turbine and the compressor, respectively. Okay, so the isentropic efficiency of a compressor is given by this formula. Um, that was derived in a previous video. And when I plug the values in, uh, 556 here, the 556 is the ideal, minus T81, which is 288, uh, I will get 603 degrees Kelvin for uh, T2. I will use that 603 degrees Kelvin to work out the work done on the compressor. And that works out to be 31,500 kilojoules. Uh, for T4, uh, the isentropic efficiency of a turbine is given by this uh, equation. And once again, when I plug the values in, uh, I'll get uh, a real output temperature of 656 degrees Kelvin. So using that real value uh, of 656, knowing that the input is 1112, I can work out that the work done in this section of the engine is 45,600 kilojoules. Okay, so as before, the useful work is the work done by the turbine minus work done by the compressor. Okay, so the compressor is taking 31,500 uh, kilojoules of work. The turbine, this part of the engine is taking 45,600, so 31,500 of this work is used to drive the compressor, and the difference being 14,100. This is what's going out the back. Uh, it's the kinetic energy which is going to give us our thrust. I can work out the heat energy required to heat the gas from 603 degrees Kelvin to uh, 1,112 degrees Kelvin. And quite simply, when I do that, I get uh, 50,000, sorry, 50,900 kilojoules, yeah, of, of energy. If the specific, if the heating value, sorry, if the heating value of the fuel is 43,000 and we need 50,900, that means the mass of the fuel required is 1.18 uh, kgs. If I look at the uh, efficiency of the engine, well, we got 14,100 kilojoules of useful work out. We supplied 50,900 kilojoules of fuel, so the overall efficiency is 27.7%. So you may recall in the earlier video, it was 48.8%. Uh, when we had 100% efficiency at the compressor and turbine, it has now dropped significantly just by dropping the efficiencies from 100 to 85%. We will then move on to part 3, um, which will be calculating the trust, and I'll do that in a different video.